everybody welcome back to the channel today we're going to be going over the benchmade 300 also known as the benchmade axis flipper this is their first flipper design you know it you love it it's got the amazing axis lock easy flip design so in states like california where you can't have a uh, directed or assisted opening my bad uh, you can definitely have this sort of knife 154 cm so let's dive on in if you get into the review itself please do me a huge favor and go down and click that subscribe button if you have not already there's about a 96 percent chance that you have not really helps out what i do here at the channel also hit the bell icon that way you're notified every time i post a video i try to post weekly as well as uh, like share and comment helps promote the channel in the youtube algorithm so we really appreciate that on to the review we're going to dive on into the specs of the Benchmade 300 Axis Flipper. It's Benchmade's first flipper design came out in the late 2010s. Overall length of the knife itself is from a uh, tip to hilt is 7.36 inches. The blade length is 3.18 inches. So obviously check your local listings to see if you're legally able to carry that in your uh, local area some places have weird uh, knife laws with like three inches and under so just something to keep in mind the weight on this guy is 4.85 ounces so definitely not super heavy usa made you gotta love it uh wide clip point i definitely am a big fan of that it kind of reminds me of like a buck knife but not quite it's a little bit different very capable slicer that's something i've noticed with this i've been using this for pr food prep a little bit lately you have a very not super thin stock but that 154 cm really uh, gives it a good tendency to be able to be pretty slicey. So you can see uh, a little bit of jimping right there. Nothing too crazy. Uh, as you can see, it slightly tapers down all the way to the tip. I did get this used from a good friend of mine. I did a trade with him. So we do have a little chip there in the blade as well as we're missing the tip. But overall, not too bad of a blade. Bring that back here. So the 154CN that's on this is going to give you pretty good edge retention as well as being able to be sharpened very easily. That's something you run into with like S30V, S35VN, where it's not as easy to sharpen, but it's more durable. Uh, also, 154CM is an excellent stainless steel, so you're going to have pretty good stainless, or excuse me, corrosion resistance. Uh, black and blue G10 handles, so you're definitely not really going to have to worry about them loosening up on you too much, and they're going to hold up pretty well insofar as I've carried them. You got some decent steel liners in there, and if the uh, handles do decide to come out, you just have to use, I forget if that's a hex key or a torx key or what, but uh, it does have ambi clip point, or Jesus, ambi uh, pocket clip, so you can switch it. I just, I'm a lefty, I just haven't had a chance to switch it yet. Uh, unfortunately, these are discontinued, I believe, by Benchmade, uh, but you it, you can still find them here and there, whether it's be like on eBay. Sometimes people get weird batches of them in. But if you can find them, they're going to be between 150 and 180 bucks. So definitely not too, too bad there. Let's get into the review itself. Test number one is going to be on the 550 paracord. I love the axis lock on this and the flipping action gosh it's not the smoothest definitely i have a civivi that's way more smooth than this it's a little bit it's got like some spring assist in it but this not too bad just you know use your wrist flick it open anyways let's get off the rabbit hole i'm gonna cut some paracord with it now this being an edc blade i'm gonna go through a few different tasks that i think it should be able to do no crazy bushcraft or anything like that but just some stuff that i think is important you know so we're gonna start with some paracord like i didn't even hardly have to put any pressure on that so that's crazy all righty just do a double loop like that. I do have that little nick in the tip of the blade right there. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up like right where my pinky is. So it definitely got caught on that. But overall, nothing terrible. That 154 CM, you can definitely get a really good edge on that. Sweet. Cut a little bit more of this stuff up. Awesome. Very nice. Very nice. Definitely did an excellent, excellent job of that. Let's move on to test. We are going to do a test that I have never done before. Uh, we're going to try some zip ties, cutting some zip ties. Uh, I've ended up having to do that a lot at my job lately. Uh, opening packaging, uh, doing various things that have zip ties on them, having to cut them off is always a pain. Not every knife can do it, so having one that does is really a help. Let's get in there. 
the angle. Tighten this one up. Okay, let's get this bottom one. Having a little bit of issues, but these are some like pretty heavy duty zip ties. Oh, there we go, sweet. There we go. Now let's see if we can get this last one. Boom. Definitely not the easiest. Let's take a look at that blade real quick. Not noticing any crazy dings. Edge is still intact. So that's good. Let's move on to test number three. Do a basic spear point with this thing. Let's get after it. Very, very slicey. I think that uh, thin profile, or that thin stock you've got there, I forget how thick it is exactly, but man, it lends itself very nice to being pretty slicey. Especially, it does have a little bit of jimping here. I typically like to rest my thumb up on the top of the blade and my finger like this. Definitely not worrying about cutting myself. I mean, look at that, it's just filleting that wood. That is wild. That's one thing I've always loved about Benchmades. I've only had one that I really didn't like. Uh, they are typically pretty good choppers or pretty sli good slicers. And this one I've been carrying for about, oh, I don't know, a month and a half, two months. And I've been very, very impressed with it so far. You can see, it's a spear point in only a matter of under a minute, I'd say. So definitely uh, no problems there. So what are my thoughts on the Benchmade 300 or the Axis Flipper, whatever you want to call it? I think it's a pretty good knife. Um, I wasn't sure at first, but given this handle design, uh, how it would fit. I mean, I do have pretty large size hands, but you know, I do have just enough real estate and I'm not getting really any hot spots, even with that pocket clip being in the way there. Uh, G10, I think was an excellent choice with this. The blue and black color scheme is kind of cool. Definitely unique, not something I've had before. So definitely, uh, no complaints there. Uh, I haven't really noticed any extremely sharp edges or anything like that. Uh, obviously, when I got this, it was used, pretty heavily used. The tip was gone, as well as a chunk there in uh, the blade. Overall, though, not a bad knife. I think 154 CM is probably one of my personal favorites when it comes to uh, like an EDC style knife. S30V is great, but you ding it up real bad, or you drop it, or you... Uh, bend it over uh to where you're like actually going to need to do some serious work with a honing stone or a, i mean beyond the work of a leather strop uh, i think s30v is just a little bit harder to work with and it's very time consuming instead of like taking five or ten minutes to get a really fine edge on this i might have to spend uh you know 20 30 minutes to get my edge where i want it to be with s30v um again you i think you still can find these here and there between 150 180 bucks I think it's uh, definitely a good contender for a knife. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Civivis, especially theirs in uh, D2 steel. But, you know, for 150 180 bucks, I haven't noticed any loosening up, uh, any of the screws starting to back out or anything. So I definitely think it's an excellent choice for an EDC. I will say, though, I did use this as a hammer one time because I had to. It's all I had on me. And the back of the D2, D, or excuse me, g10 got a little dinged up sorry words are hardened still early in the morning here uh but yeah definitely a great knife let me know what you guys think in the comments below thank you so much for watching and please have a fantastic day